At least five people have reportedly been killed and more than 20 wounded in one Ukrainian city alone. That's as the army continues its artillery attacks in the east. The heaviest strike fell on the city of Gorlovka that witnessed a 24 hour long attack. Several apartment blocks, a school and a kindergarten were destroyed. On Monday, 17 people were killed there, including three children. In neighbouring Lugansk, artillery hit a retirement home, killing five. People have been trying to hide or flee from the fighting on a daily basis. Five artillery shells fired from Ukraine have reportedly exploded next to a Russian checkpoint on the border. Russian territory has repeatedly come under fire and now a group of international observers has arrived at the border to inspect the situation there. Roman Kostra visited a village that lies just across the river from Ukraine and he asked locals what it's like to live next to a combat zone. These people aren't at war with anyone and yet it's their homes that are being shelled. The residents of this Russian village say artillery and gunfire usually start when it gets dark, forcing them to flee their homes for safety. The ongoing conflict in nearby Ukraine has now moved into their own backyard. The residents here are able to see the fighters of the National Guard without any special equipment. This particular house is located right on the Russia-Ukraine border, right beyond that river. Our things are always packed, and packing is now useless. Bullets are flying right into our yards. Locals have a chance to find shelter elsewhere in the region, far from the area of combat. But not everyone can just up and leave. Olga is a nurse at a psychiatric hospital and says it's hard to comfort her patients while the area gets shelled. The patients are scared. It's hard to explain it all to mentally ill people. We tell them it's thunder. They hide under blankets and dive under the beds. It's hard for children as well to understand why their homes are being targeted. But they already know what to do when hearing the sound of a rocket or gunfire. We went to the town to hide, to escape from here. There are huge bomb attacks here. I'm very scared, especially at night. The window panes are shaking and I'm crying. These youngsters seem to take the threat of shelling quite bravely, but that's not the case in all the families. My daughter is so scared. She doesn't even leave the house. She cries, and I even don't know how to help her. Russian border crossings with Ukraine and nearby villages have been shelled numerous times over the last month. One civilian had been killed and several houses destroyed as these people are dragged into someone else's battle. Roman Kostarev, RT, Russian-Ukrainian border.